Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential logarithmic or logarithmic exponential or both equation. We have x to the power ln x to the power ln x equals e and we're going to be solving for x. Of course, what else you can solve for, right? You can solve for e because e is a constant. e is Euler's number, which is about 2.7 something. I don't know what comes next. Is it 2.71 or 2.72? Something like that. Anyways, at least I know it's 2.7 close to 2.7. And how do you solve an equation like this one, right? Okay, there's a couple of ways to approach it. First of all, you can go ahead and use substitution, right? Which is probably the first method that I'm gonna try. But one thing to keep in mind here, you have to be very careful, and I did not use parentheses on purpose. Sorry, that was intentional. My goal is to trick you a little bit, but at the same time, to show you something, at least make a point that you need to be very careful at all times, okay? All right, now we'll bring down your guard, especially with these things. So what, what does this mean? Let's start with that, okay? Because if once we can simplify it, we know that x is the base, the rest is easy. Well, sort of. What is ln x to the power ln x? By the way, we did a similar problem before recently. I think it was with three ln x's, kind of like a tower sort of, but it was, it was three, I wanted to do the two, but then I wanted to change the base a little bit. So this is kind of like a variation of that problem, okay? So what is that supposed to mean? Does that mean ln x is the base? Well, if ln x is the base, then I would write it like this. Okay, so these two things are not equal. Be careful. What is the base? The base is x. So what I mean by that is actually ln of this. Make sense? And they're not the same thing, as you can tell, right? So this one is actually better because it can be simplified. How? By using properties of logarithm. Let's talk about it. Using the natural log, there are three main properties that I almost always use. Ln, AB, which is the product, turns into a sum. The quotient turns into a difference. And of course, by repeated multiplication, using the first property over and over, you get the power property, which means and can become a coefficient. Why? Because if you do ln a, write the a n times and multiply, it's gonna turn into a sum, which is n times the same thing, right? Cool, so how do I apply that property to this? ln x to the power of ln x. Easy, you just need to be careful. Like I said earlier, x is the base, ln x is not the base. What is the ln? ln is just the function. So we are lning this. Make sense? Okay, cool. So this is an exponent for x, which means I can bring it to the front. So this can move. Be careful again one more time. This does not move, okay? Moving is not allowed here. So this becomes, when it does move, it becomes a coefficient, so it becomes ln x times ln x. Uh-oh, that's a good thing, right? Ln x squared, beautiful. So these two things are equivalent. Of course, you have to be careful. Can x be positive? Is x always positive? The domain and so on and so forth. I'm not going to get into those greedy details, but you can figure them out, hopefully. If not, always ask questions, okay? In the comment section down below. Questions are always welcome. So we got the exponent. So what did we have? What was the original problem? It was this, x to the power ln x to the power ln x, which we turned into x to the power ln x quantity squared. So this is better than the original problem because at least we simplified the exponent a little bit. Great. Now here's my equation. How do I solve it, right? That's the million dollar question. To solve it, I'm going to go ahead and use substitution because why not, right? Let's go ahead and replace ln x with something. How about t? t is good, right? As a drink and as a variable, both. So now what is x from here? If you use the definition, ln, by the way, I use for natural log, it means the base is e. Some people use, use including from alpha, unfortunately, log for ln, but that's not acceptable on my channel, okay? I mean, you can write it in the comment section down below if you want, but make sure you specify, and I'm specifying that I use ln for natural log because it's natural log. You get the idea? It's kind of backwards, but it's what it is. So from here, x becomes e to the power t. So let's replace x with e to the t, and then I'm gonna raise it to the power of an x squared, which I call t, so it's gonna be t squared. You see how easy that is with the power of substitution. Substitution is awesome. Isn't that beautiful? 
Now, this is nice because now I can multiply t and t squared. You see, the correct way to place the parentheses makes a huge difference. Now, we can go ahead and multiply this, and this gives us e to the power t cubed, because t times t squared, you add the exponents, this is considered t to the first power, and now this becomes e, which is e to the first power. And the power isn't written, it's first power, but sometimes you can write it if you want, which will make things easier. Now, here's where we kind of at a, uh, what is that called? Um, crossroads, yes. <laughs> we kind of need to pick our path because t cubed equals one is what we're gonna get from here, but one in the real world has one cube root. In the complex world, it has three roots. Wait a minute, uh, this channel is not always about complex numbers because we have a dedicated channel for that, which is called A plus pi. So go ahead and check it out if you haven't done so already. But uh, I'm going to stick to the real solution. If you wanted to complex solutions, you can go ahead and look at complex or uh, cube roots of unity, which is 1. So I'm going to stick with t equals 1, which will make things easier. And what is t, by the way? t is ln x. Let's go ahead and set ln x equal to 1. And from here, by using the definition, or you can do e to the power of both sides, x will become e. You can also think of it this way, which I always tell my students ln of which number equals 1. And if you know that ln e equals 1, then you know that x is equal to e because it's unique, right? It's a function. Come on. You can't really get two different x values and get the same y value. Well, that sometimes happens with some functions, but not with the log because it's always increasing, at least ln x. You get the idea? Hopefully you did. Now, x equals e is a solution, and that's the only real solutions. Again, I repeat, it's the real solution. It's the real deal. All right, cool. So complex solutions you can find from cube roots of one. Now let's go ahead and talk about the second method because I still need to show you my second approach. And what is that? So we're going to save some time by considering the transformation we just did. Remember, we were able to turn this into ln x quantity squared, right? Okay. I don't know if it's timely or some type of static, but sometimes notability and the Apple Pencil will just go crazy. They'll start acting really weird. I don't know why. I haven't been able to find the result, uh, the root cause. But anyways, so this is our equation, and guess what we're going to do? Since we have e and ln x in the exponent, we're going to natural log both sides, and that's going to bring... Remember, we weren't able to bring this down, but now if you use natural log, you can bring it to the front, it's going to give you ln x squared times ln x equals ln e, which is 1. There you go. This is where the cubes come from, right? You see what's happening, unfortunately. And this is ln x cubed equals 1. And from here, ln x equals 1. If I just consider the cube root of 1, the real cube root, x equals e is going to be the only solution. And I'm going to show you a graph of this function, which I think is pretty interesting. See how it curves between 0 and 1? It's really weird, but that's where they intersect. Uh, and remember, the right-hand side was e, and the uh, x value, guess what, will also be e. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care. And by the way, this number wasn't 2, but it was. it's pretty close to 2. I just noticed. And bye-bye.